local families continue to struggle with food insecurity as the economic impact of the pandemic continues to grow. As Kathy Curran tells us, the number of applications for federally funded food assistance skyrocketed at the start of the pandemic, increasing by 400 percent compared to the year before. I moved here to accept a job at, in Boston and also to grow my client base of um, nonprofit clients. And after five weeks, COVID hit. The mayor declared shelter in place and then we moved into lockdown. And in, within a three week period, I was laid off from that position and I lost every one of my nonprofit clients. So within five weeks, I lost all of my income. And during that time, I'm not someone who can just kind of sit around and, and do nothing. I felt a strong urge to give back. And so I um, immediately wrote a letter to the neighbors in my neighborhood, introducing myself and sharing if you have any need, if I can help in any way, I am happy to do so. And through that, a handful of neighbors reached out and said, would you be willing to grocery shop? Because there were members of the family who either had health conditions or they were unable to go out at that point in time. So I started shopping for some of my neighbors. As the months go on, I, and I'm in a, finding myself in a situation where I don't have income coming in, that then led to food insecurity for me. And at that time, I was not aware of some of the resources in this community since I had just moved here. So there was a period of time where I was eating one meal a day because I just couldn't afford to purchase groceries. And at that time, I didn't know about the Sudbury Food Pantry. In May, one of my neighbors mentioned to me, oh, the town has a social worker. Why don't you reach out to the social worker's office? And so I did. And that's when I learned of the Sudbury Food Pantry. That's when I learned of Hope Sudbury. And um, that's when I learned of the gift card program that had been set up. Hope Sudbury was founded in right after 9-11, and it was designed to engage the people of Sudbury in humanitarian efforts, um, both locally and nationally and abroad. Um, and our, the biggest arm of our organization is the Hope Fund, and that basically, um, when a resident in town experiences an emergency financial crisis, they can call on Hope Sudbury for a grant of up to $1,200 that will help them fill that emergency financial gap. Um, and the way that we do this is we work in conjunction with the town social worker, who uh, Bethany Hadvab, and people will apply for a grant. And Bethany, through Bethany's office, um, it is all confidential, and we work with Bethany to make sure that we get uh, funds in the hands of the people who need it most. Stephanie, thanks ever so much for joining us today. I know that you're exceptionally busy, especially during these uh, these times. Could you share with us how COVID has impacted the situation you know, for local people in Sudbury, particularly around food insecurities? As I'm sure most people know, 
COVID has had a pretty global impact on many families. So we very early on started seeing people lose their childcare. If you lose your childcare, oftentimes it's very hard to maintain employment. So we're seeing people losing their jobs. Um, we're also seeing people are at risk of losing their housing because of those other two pieces. And because of all of that, people are also facing increased food insecurity. So Project Bread, which is an organization that works around food insecurity, has reported, it was as of November, so I'm sure these have changed, um, the state statistics on food insecurity went from 8.4% of families to 17.5% of families. So almost a double increase there. And the largest increase was in children facing food insecurity. So we know if kiddos are getting their food from school and uh, might be on free or reduced lunch and they're getting breakfast and lunch there and then families may, be low, may have lost some income and can't afford food, we now have a 102% increase in food insecurity amongst children. Um, the Sudbury Food Pantry, which has been open through all of this and has been adapting to COVID, is also seeing a huge increase. So they have signed on since March of 2020 an additional 531 families, and they see between 60 and 80 families a week. So for a while, they were able to provide a checklist and people could come in and order everything they wanted, but with the increased demand, families now don't have the ability to choose everything. They have limited choices, but there's prepackaged bags. With a gift card drive, a donation is made for an amount greater than the actual gift card. So a donation is made right now for $40, and in turn, a $25 gift card is purchased, and the additional $15 is donated back to the restaurants. So the restaurant makes the $40 now, and then the $25 gift card will be redeemed in the future by somebody who may not typically be able to eat at that restaurant. When this gift card drive came about through Gabrielle, it felt like a really, um, just a natural uh, connection for us because we are able to work directly with Bethany um, and get those gift cards out to people who need them most. So we're really proud and excited to be involved in this way. It also is wonderful for our mission because it brings us together with the community um, and brings awareness of our organization as well. And, and ultimately we're just, we're helping people and getting food on the table. So I understand you did this before when there was the first lockdown? Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that and the success that you had with it? Yes, yeah, so that started um, back in April and I was seeing it as a way that we could help the restaurants in town and also the people in town who were struggling food insecurity. And it, I ran it for two weeks. This town of Sudbury and the community is absolutely incredible and so generous. We raised over $20,000 and over 700 gift cards. And at the time it was a $25 gift card and a $5 donation back to the restaurants. And the restaurants were thrilled and the feedback that I've been getting from Bethany and from Hope Sudbury, from the community members who have benefited from the gift cards has been truly incredible. These, the staff, they, they have families they need to feed. The owners of the restaurants not only have rent and restaurant expenses, but everyone's livelihoods, people who work at the restaurants, depend on this. Hi, I'm Chef Pepino on the Vinci Bistro, owner of South India too, a two restaurant we have. And uh, thank you so much as ever, all the community support to us. COVID-19 is very tough time for everyone. On this area, all the restaurant, please support to us. Thank you so much, all the support, appreciate, thank you. Hi, I'm Louise. I'm the owner of Duck Soup here in Sudbury. And I just wanted to thank everybody for your tremendous outpouring of support. We truly appreciate it and it makes it so much easier to do all the hard work that we need to do with all of the different restrictions and things that we have to do for the COVID uh, situation to know that we're appreciated and I'm sure that I speak for everybody that gets these um, gift cards because I think on both sides of the equation we're all just very moved by the people of Sudbury and what you've done for us 
Thank you very, very much. Hello, this is Alex from Franco Stratore, and I'm here just to thank you very much for the last time. It was incredible, your support. And hopefully we can thrive this time together, and we can do much and much more for each other. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Stuart. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Gabrielle Hankins for everything she does for the town. This is the second time she's done this event, and it, it's extremely important for everybody to know how helpful this really is for all the area businesses and all the people in town. It's a way to bring the town together and to support the local business. So we at Sudbury Coffee Works, we appreciate this greatly. And for all the people that have donated and that are going to donate, thank you so much. I just want to say first, I'd like to thank everybody in the community for uh, you know, helping us get through these tough times and, and, and your support. And thanks also to uh, helping all those families in need. Um, it's a great thing, it's for a great cause, and, and we appreciate all the support we can always get here. We're open, fireplace is going, and we'd love to see you. I have been a recipient of those gift cards, and I can tell you that was a lifeline for me. That enabled me to purchase food, to purchase groceries, to ensure that I was able to eat two or three meals a day instead of just one. And so I want to encourage you to support Hope Sudbury by purchasing a gift card to a local restaurant here because by doing so you're completing a bigger wider circle of hope and care and love. You're not only helping those families to maintain their business and their livelihood through their operation of their restaurant but then Hope Sudbury will take those gift cards and they will apply them and give them to families that are in need right now, that are experiencing food insecurity, and who are so incredibly grateful to have this lifeline.